Hope, then heartbreak in an Egyptian courtroom as two journalists return to prison. A retrial was supposed to give Bahar Mohammed, Mohammed Fahmi, and Peter Gresta a second opportunity to clear their names. Instead, justice was denied yet again. I don't know how I'm going to, to survive this without him. He really did nothing. The judge said he wanted to make clear to the people of Egypt that these men were not journalists and doctored videos for air. Then he sentenced them to more prison time, three years for Fahmi and Gresta, three and a half for Mohammed. They've already spent more than a year behind bars. <laughs> Gresta won't serve the time because he was deported to Australia, but it will as a foreign correspondent. He's outrageous. He's, he's just devastating for me. I mean, I know my heart is with Baher and Fami. Journalists inside the courtroom described a tense and angry atmosphere. From the beginning, the case has been called a sham. Leaders, including President Obama, have joined journalists across the globe condemning it. The men have been convicted of aiding the Muslim Brotherhood, which the Egyptian government now deems a terrorist group. They were arrested on false charges. They were convicted without a shred of evidence. At no point during the long drawn out retrial did any of the unfounded allegations stand up to scrutiny. The Canadian government is demanding Fahmi's immediate deportation. His attorney says now that the Egyptian judiciary has proven it's driven by politics, not truth, it's time for the president to pardon the men. And it sends a dangerous message that there are judges in Egypt who will allow their courts to become instruments of political repression and propaganda. For now, the legal fight continues. But Gresta says they need the global community to fight with them by continuing to promote the Free AJ Staff campaign. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera.